Are you ready to supercharge your 3D motion graphics game? Well, in this video, we're going to break down five powerful 3D techniques right here in After Effects that will have you creating pro content in no time. Let's get started. All right, let's go big or go home because we're not here to create basic things. I want us to create beautiful work by starting with this beautiful 3D rotating array in which you can make a series of 3D graphics rotate around a center point. So start with any of the shape tools. And in my case, I'll create a circle by holding shift on my keyboard. And then when this is done, absolutely center the anchor point by control double clicking that pan behind tool and bam. Now make the layer 3D and of course, slap After Effects to use the advanced 3D renderer, which we'll be using for every technique. Now under the geometry options, set the style to convex and the depth to five. You may also increase the extrusion depth for more 3D, but the bevel alone just gives us that smooth 3D edge. And to make this reflective, set the specular shininess to 100% and the metal to 0%. Great. Now to set up an array of duplicates, move this up by adjusting the Y anchor point and then set the Y orientation to negative 90 degrees. And from here, you're going to go ahead and duplicate and offset each duplicate's X rotation by 15 degrees. And you should be able to quickly duplicate and stack this up to finalize this beautiful circle. Now we just got to create a null object, make it 3D and parent all the shape layers to it, giving us the ability to adjust the rotation and the scale of everything beautiful. Now we can even animate the Z rotation with the time asterisk 20 expression when you alt click the stopwatch to have this rotate by. Now with all the examples we'll be going through, we need to make the 3D look really good. When you're working with advanced 3D, you can create an environment light which will cast shadows on nearby objects. But you may also need to change the light's rotation to kind of perfect that. And lastly, you can spread the array closer or further apart by adjusting the Y anchor point of all of these circle layers. Okay, the next powerful scene building technique is combining multiple 3D motion graphics together. For instance, let's say we want to insert an object in the middle of our array or just build a scene. So let's create a sphere with the ellipse tool by holding shift on the keyboard and create that perfect 3D circle. To make this an actual sphere, set the ellipse size to exactly two and the bevel depth to exactly 100 and choose convex. And to make this bigger, you can increase the scale quite the heck I know. Then you can place this inside of your scene with the position and the shadows should fall all into place. Now we have to talk about lighting, texture, and defining the shadows. So in the latest version of After Effects, you can import any image, video, or HDR into your scene and set the light source to that picture or video, which I call a light map. And this will change your scene dramatically. You can get the light maps that I'm using in the project below. Keep in mind, you'll probably want to mess with the light's intensity and rotation to dial in the look before throwing in another map. Also, a 3D model's shininess and metal can make all the difference as well, so mess with that. And lastly, anytime you work with lighting, you need to go to the renderer options and select fit to scene to ensure that your entire scene is affected by shadows. But now you can create detailed multi-object scenes. And next up, we'll go creative with text, but to keep your creative juices flowing, save time and frustrations with our free templates and gain access to over 45,000 assets, presets, and transitions here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can easily drop pre-made templates into your projects and update them to fit your needs. You can add countless seamless transitions to your edits and moments and never animate again for our library of animation presets. Be sure to check the description below and thank you for making this channel possible. All right, back in this, let's create this epic 3D rotating title because who just wants a normal 3D title? So with your normal 2D title, create a circle mask like so and make sure that the anchor point is centered, which is very important. Under the path options, set the path to mask. You know, this is getting crazy, but click animate and select enable per character 3D. Now you can add a rotation and set the X rotation to 90 degrees. Then go to the layer's regular transform X rotation and set it to negative 90 degrees. And then from here, the next logical step is to increase the extrusion depth. And I'll also add in convex as well. Feel free to copy and paste your text a few times to loop this around. And you can animate the Z rotation with the time expression to actually see this loop by. 
And again, remember, use an environment light and your choice of light map to dial in the look. I also suggest creating a floor by taking a solid layer making it 3D and setting its X rotation to 90 degrees, which is a common theme. Then lower it under your text and scale it up to fit the rest of your scene. And of course you can duplicate your text to truly impress the woman in the beautiful dress. I actually don't know what I mean by that. It just rhymed. <laughs> All right. Now, if you really want to create high end luxury 3D text, here's what you need to know. So I already have a floor and an environment light with a light map attached. With the text, I'll just extrude it and use the convex bevel with this max setting at 10 to really smooth this out. You could make the text really reflective with the specular shininess, but sometimes there's a middle ground or even a quarter ground if that's a thing. But with text, you can actually style individual parts of it by going to animate and adding a bevel color RGB. And you could also add a side color RGB then set the colors to whatever you like. And to see that I'm not joking about the level of detail at your disposal, add a bevel shininess and a size shininess as well. And then we'll set these to a three quarters ground or 75%, I suppose, which gives our sides a golden reflective look. Additionally, you can add in a position parameter with the enable per character 3D checked and adjust a Z position to have this come by us. Then animate the range selector start to have this all fall into place. And now you have a professional title reveal for your job interview. The final 3D technique you need to know is creating, well, a 3D logo. And because this is Sunduck Film, we will expand on our 3D work with an extra shape. So you'll need a vector document or the Illustrator document of your logo. So then you may right click it, go to create and choose create shapes from vector layer. And just like any shape layer, you'll make it 3D and then you can adjust its material options. And of course you have your environment light and all that. From here, we can extrude a shape, which is just an extra circle in my case, and then go to the Z position of the logo and push this forward so that it's just sitting on that shape. We can then parent the logo to the shape and keyframe, say the position and Y rotation, and our logo will simply animate as if this is all together, which I guess it is. And for one final tip, if you have all your elements inside of a group inside your shape layer, you can add those side colors and properties to colorize your logo as you need. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.